bag contains four balls, each of which is either red or white. If one ball is drawn at random from the bag but not replaced, then the second ball is at random. The probability that both balls are red is a half. What's the probability that both balls are white? Now, of course, you could do this question. There's only four balls, so it wouldn't take too long to cycle through and say zero red, one red, two red, three red, four red. You would get there. But let's use a different approach. Let's just say the number of red balls is going to be R. That means on the first pick, the probability of picking a red is going to be R divided by 4. I'm, sort of, I'm going along a tree diagram, really, but I'm not worrying about writing down the tree diagram. So this would be R and R, R over 4. And then I've lost a red ball, so there's now R minus 1 left over, and there's three balls in total, so I'm going to times by R minus 1 over 3. And we're told that that is equal to a half. So I've created an equation in terms of r. I can times through by 12 on both sides because that will get rid of the 12 over here. And I'll be left with r times r minus 1 equals 6. And this is going to lead to a quadratic equation. r squared minus r minus 6 is equal to 0. So r minus 3 times r plus 2 factorize it equals 0. r equals minus 2 or 3. Reject the negative because remember it's got to be a positive number of balls. There's three red balls and what that means is there's one white ball and although there's a quarter chance of picking it on the first go there's then none left on the second go. We can't actually pick two white balls so the answer is going to be zero.